Jacob's Ford, a barren hilltop overlooking the Jordan River, 100 miles north of Jerusalem. A team of archaeologists recovers relics from the wreckage of a 12th century Templar castle. Medieval Muslim texts record as many as 800 Templar and Crusader soldiers die in six days of ferocious fighting. Investigators believe proof of this bloodbath is buried in the ruins of the castle. After 14 years of digging, the battleground has already revealed some of its grim secrets. Bioanthropologist Netta Levtov Chata. Something very violent occurred here, a very bloody battle, many, many people killed. At the team's lab west of Jerusalem, items recovered from previous expeditions are examined. There is a huge wound, okay, which is associated with this. Just a piece of the cranium just fell off and detached. And there is another cut here, which went through the cranium, through the skull, full thickness here. So here you have a missing piece here, and there is a cut here. What they used to do, they used to chop, 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 and, and really uh, continue hitting until they could actually see that the person was down. Medieval coin expert, Robert Kuhl. The catastrophe was sudden. It was like I could compare it to Pompeii. It's like a picture in time, which is like frozen. Using the extensive Muslim accounts as a guide, archaeology team leader Dr. Ronnie Ellenblum has been investigating Jacob's Ford for more than a decade. This is one of the best documented archaeological sites in this part of the world. Weapons expert Kate Raphael has collected some key finds. Swords, arrowheads, spears, that's the kind of type of, of close combat battle that you were looking at within the grounds of the fortress. Until they discover more skeletons, the true extent of the battle remains shrouded in mystery. <laughs> 